morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Tarium Johnson, welcome to the Bronze Star with Combat Distinguishing Device Ceremony for Corporal Capreet Singh. Please rise for the invocation by the Regimental Chaplain, Commander Mark S. Winward, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors for national colors and remain standing for the presentation of the Bronze Star. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Colonel Turner. Fellow commanders, Gold Star family members, Jim and Carla Hogan, distinguished guests, fellow Marines and sailors, Mr. and Mrs. Singh and Manpreet Singh, good morning. Tatsri Akov. On 4 February 1944, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt authorized the Bronze Star Medal by Executive Order 9419, retroactive to 7 December 1941. This decoration was conceived and ultimately brought into being with the infantrymen in mind. A decoration for those ground forces whom, unlike their often higher profile aviation brothers for whom the Air Medal had already been designed, were experiencing what was universally acknowledged as the severest of hardships on the ground particularly at the company level and below. Indeed, on or about this time, in 1942, our own division, the 1st Marine Division, the Blue Diamond, was born in the crucible of such hardship in the hellish swamps of Guadalcanal in August of 1942. Faceless men bearing the weight of the nation's war in the Pacific. Despite potentially paralyzing uncertainty fear, privation. These men performed, as some would later observe, uncommon valorous acts, routinely, and with little fanfare. It was for these men that such an award was designed. Since that time, Marines and sailors of this division, particularly those closest to the ground and to the enemy, have continued to earn this decoration for their selfless courage and valor in some of the most dangerous places on earth. Today, the Bronze Star Medal with Combat Distinguishing V device is the nation's fourth highest decoration for valor. It is in this spirit and context that we remember and honor here today the courage and ultimate sacrifice of Corporal Gupreet Singh, a brother Marine and a selfless warrior whose actions were in keeping with, and thus upheld, 
the hard-won legacy of our core. Corporal Singh's story is not an unfamiliar one. A young man from a very diverse background who nonetheless found something truly unique in the Marine Corps and was moved to extraordinary heights because of it. Corporal Singh was born in the Punjab region of India, 28 September 1989. He immigrated to the United States in the year 2000 at the age of 11. Adopting as his hometown, Antelope, California, he attended Oakmont High School in nearby Roseville, California. At the age of 17, he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps and found, like so many, his calling in the Marine Corps. Having deployed with the battalion on its first combat tour to Afghanistan in Nala District, Helmand Province, in the year 2009, Corporal Singh returned a relatively senior NCO and was not slated to deploy again with the battalion at the end of his uh, active service, or EAS. EAS was approaching. However, the battalion's, as the battalion's next scheduled deployment to, to combat in Afghanistan approached, and fully aware of the dangerous operational environment into which the battalion would deploy, Corporal Singh, he simply could not stomach the idea of the, of the battalion uh, deploying without him. To him, being with his Marines, and particularly as they continued to grapple with the complex mission in Afghanistan, a mission that he had started, but due to its nature, was yet unfinished. For him, this was just simply the right thing to do. Moved by the bond and spirit of brotherhood that has undoubtedly propelled generations of Marines forward into battle, Corporal Singh ultimately extended his enlistment to enable him to deploy with the battalion. By the summer of 2011, Corporal Singh was, just like his Guadalcanal forebears, bearing the load once again on the forward edge of a battlefield to which the nation had committed its Marines. This time it was Sangin District. Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Serving as a team leader, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, Corporal Singh led his men with courage and selfless commitment to the mission. As recounted by those who knew him, Corporal Singh never complained. He just simply did what was asked of him. For others, it was his seemingly incongruent, quiet and polite demeanor that they will remember. And for many, if not most, it was his sincere and uplifting smile that they will always remember. And so it was with a happy heart, I am certain, that Corporal Singh found himself in Afghanistan on 22 June 2011, alongside his brothers. And it was no doubt with the same positive, optimistic spirit that he brushed aside his close call on 4 June 2011, when he was struck in his protective armor by an enemy bullet and subsequently recounted the event to his friends and family back home. And certainly, it was the same spirit of determination, a determination born of a Marine's foremost concern in combat to not let his fellow Marines down. It gave him the courage to aggressively lead his Marines when he was ultimately struck down by the enemy on 22 June 2011, giving the last full measure of devotion. Through his actions, Corporal Singh is now part of the very legacy that he fought so courageously to live up to. No higher compliment can be paid to a Marine than to say that he did his duty, that he was indeed faithful to his men and to the mission. So on behalf of the Marines and sailors of 1-5, and indeed a grateful service and nation, let me say to the family of Corporal Singh, that which I cannot now convey to the Marine in person. Well done. Well done, Marine. Your courage and your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Semper Fidelis, make peace or die. Ladies and gentlemen, Corporal Singh's sister, Manpreet Singh.
preparing and trying not to get emotional. First, I just want to thank everybody that has helped my family and I in this journey. It's been really difficult, but the support we get from my brothers, Maureen, and everybody, it's been, we're forever grateful. So thank you so much. It is honor for me to be here for my brother. My brother, Corporal Gupri Singh, is what defines a hero. I never met anybody who is as selfless and kind as my brother. He was always a helping hand for family and his friends, and he would do anything for them. I knew at a young age that my brother was destined to do something greater than life. I remember when he was eight years old, he packed all of his clothes, and he's like, I'm leaving for the military. And he said to me, I'm leaving now, and I'll see you when I'm grown. And I looked at him, and I got so sad because I believed he really was going for boot camp. I'm like, oh, you can really join the military when you're eight? He's like, yeah. So next thing I know, he was just like my uncle's house, you know, because he was mad at my parents. And then... Thank you for your attendance.